jobs. That's all we think about. It's are you saying that's what it's about? That's what schools are right now about. I'm saying they I am saying being cynical. I'm being cynical. Some schools right now, everybody says it's all about getting a job and getting into college, and it's if you are not in college, you are not worthy of anything. If you're not in college, if you can make it into college, you're not worthy of anything. It's like, really? But there is so much you can do and, with... And what percentage really go to college, what percentage finish college? I think it's custodial care of children. We need to, we need to park children somewhere for a number of years. So we devise yeah. school. Otherwise, why not let them learn online? Why not let them learn in a flexible pace and place and time period? Because parents need them to be something. So that's fundamentally what I think school is about. Yes, and the other piece back to the, the, the children who do not end up in, in higher ed equals there is no job opportunities for them. Well, that's not necessarily true. If we uh, allow children to go into apprenticeship opportunities, yeah. and skill development. We have in our organization something called career academies. They start in the 11th grade. The 11th and 12th grade, they're in a career academy. So they only go to high school half time, and the other half time, they're, 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 um, they're looking at, um, we have a health sciences career academy. We have a manufacturing. What are all the jobs that you can do in manufacturing? We have an engineering career academy. And I'd like to open one on law and order that tracks uh -huh. people either to become legal uh, lawyers or paralegals, or in law enforcement. Or social workers, or, or and what organization is that? Um, Socrates Online. It's a regional telecom district out of Mankato. Uh -huh. We're heavily focused on career academy concepts, and the schools are. Um, there's a primary school that sponsors it, and other schools that can join the consortium in that particular career. And now we're developing a model that other places can use for that. Because I think it's, I think we graduate children without realizing what it is, what their possibilities are. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. um, yes. But if you if you look at, you know, why we why do we take attendance in school? I mean, mm -hmm. we take it for two reasons. We take it to pay schools mm -hmm. for kids showing up, yeah. not for outcomes. Kids learning. And mm -hmm. we pay it. Pay, we use it to determine who's truant, who's not there. Mm -hmm. We don't take attendance to, uh, to show that we are actually doing something effective. Mm -hmm. We're doing it simply to track children and to provide we'll custodial care. We'll show off to give PPFU for people funding unit. Mm -hmm. I wish it was different. Yes. <laughs> and that's why these things are so important, so that we can make a difference. Yes. I think what we need to do, if we're really going to have school be about learning, is to capture that innate curiosity. Mm -hmm. And we talked about lifelong learning today. That's what it's all about. Yeah. Kids come to school curious. Yeah. And, and we I, kill it in school. We kill it. I love Sir Ken Robinson and his talks on curiosity. I have a personal story of a child who discovered past high school or college that she was uh, extremely talented at art, but she wasted all her time on literacy and more reading and more writing, and yet we, all of these developmentally cru critical years were not um, spent on discovering who she truly was and what she was good at. So she dropped out of college because she discovered she was talented in art. And when she was in her 20s, I mean, that's sad. Well, and I know when I went to high school, it was before PSEO and there was one student who was passionate about theater, and they, they somehow allowed her to go over to the local community college and participate in theater. And it was, it prevented her from literally, you know, emotionally, personally dying in high school. And uh, that preceded PSCL, and I, I think PSCL is a really good program. It's just that it got, it's getting all mucked up into um, funding and losses of funding for, yeah. should they float at the college, should they float at the high school. We get distracted by these things, unfortunately. Yes. Thank you.